Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and I just got back from the new film, I Saw the Devil, which is directed by Kim Ji-Woon. I Saw the Devil has the same setup as a Liam Neeson movie. You have Lee Bing-Hoon, plays CIS, uh, Central Intelligence. His wife is pulled over because of the snow, and she's a flat tire, and she's waiting for a tow truck. And then Chow Min Sik's character comes and kills her, and then, of course, he goes on an endless stream of revenge. But what's way cooler about this than most Liam Neeson movies is this has a lot more balls and is a lot more gruesome and vengeful and dark and creepier than Taken or Unknown could even imagine to be. This is like sadistic and an exploration of just evil itself. What Lee Bing Hoon's character does is he gets a tracking device, then he tracks Choi Min Sik's character and even implants it, like shoves it down his throat at one point and he tracks everywhere he goes and like fucks with him and he's being followed and then he, he finds him, he beats the shit out of him, he goes to the hospital, he lets him recuperate, and then he does it again. He becomes this monster by attacking this monster, but that transformation is really interesting. I even like how the title is called I Saw the Devil. It sounds like an old preacher going like, I saw the devil, like a thesis statement on this evil, but it's kind of creative in a way because it's shouting out the evil, like I saw the devil and this is how we'll get him and we'll use our vengeful ways to get him. That maddening fear of evil that is almost evil itself. Sure, he's doing a good thing. He's avenging his wife and this guy's a horrible person, but you can't be horrible to someone that's horrible. It's like not two wrongs don't make a right. The way he does it is so sadistic and creepy. Kim Ji Woon, who I've seen him before, he's very stylized. And this film does have a lot of style. And in the right way, because some of the camera work reminds me of like In the Line of Fire and The Fugitive. Clear action movie cinematography. And to use length in this way to kind of show you how monotonous and how horrible this was reminds me of how Zodiac used the length on purpose to show kind of how long and drawn out that investigation had become. I Saw the Devil shows how long and drawn out this revenge had really gotten to and how sick and how evil it had become and they used the length to really show that to you. Choi Min Sik's performance is just outstanding. He's evil and charismatic and kind of creepy. He's really interesting because you can't help but watch him, but you know he's like a horrible person. And then Lee Boong Hoon's performance is also good because he's just such a vengeful marauder, so skilled and patient. I almost question who even the protagonist of this film is at a certain point. Who is the antagonist and the protagonist? Because I feel like they're both antagonists at the end. You had this former detective and he even, like, he's so sought after getting this guy. He messes up the investigation that probably would have arrested him. Like, they weren't, it wasn't like in a Liam Neeson movie or something, they'd be doing nothing and they'd be going nowhere. But in this movie, the film is pointing out to you Lee Bing Hoon's character. He's gone kind of mad. Like, he's used police equipment he wasn't supposed to with the GPS device. He's interrupting an investigation that's working. Like, if he had helped them, they could have got him, but he didn't. He got in the way quite a few times. And I like how the violence is not just shock and gore, but also kind of amusing, which is something I did not expect. The humor in the violence of this film is quite remarkable. I mean, this is some blood-sucking freaks kind of stuff right here. I, I was a little surprised. It's there because they're really trying to say something with it. It's a little more interesting. Not to say I like kind of like pointless violence as well, but I see a lot of pointless violence. So I kind of like it that this violence has a certain amount of meaning and it has something to say like philosophically that, you know, I don't really get from Machete. I don't think it's as good as Old Boy or anything. When you'll be thinking of South Korean revenge movies, this one is gonna come up. And it showed a definite David Fincher influence. It combines the, a well-made Hollywood action movie with this like kind of sadistic revenge piece in like this kind of mainstream action movie and it makes really interesting viewing. Probably one of the most creative action movies I've seen in a while. Okay, so if you've seen I Saw the Devil and you would like to talk about it, then comment below down there in the comments and subscribe if you would like to.